Boys, we are going to be talking about runes, okay? Runes are a new system that will be coming on the big December 5th update along with the challenge dungeons. And unless they change the whole system on global, which I don't think they will, the rune system and the challenge dungeons are essentially connected. So the rune system is a new vertical progression system that I'm going to be explaining in this video. And the way you farm them is by doing challenge dungeons. Pretty simple, right? So let's talk about the runes. As you can see, I've got my expo here on KR. And in the middle of the screen, you're going to see these three little circles. These are the runes. Each weapon or each item can equip up to three runes. Now, it's important to know that in Throne and Limited Rune System, you can only equip currently runes to weapons and accessories. You cannot equip them on your armor pieces as of now. So let's take a look at the runes in detail. So here we are. This is the rune, system, the rune management menu. If I click on the rune synergy list here, you're going to see a bunch of different buffs or effects that come along with the runes you equip. Now, as you can see, there are three circles or three rune slots, rune sockets. And you're going to notice there are different types of runes. Like this one's red, this is yellow, this is blue. There are three different types of runes in this game. You have an attack rune, you have a defense rune, and you have a support rune. Okay? There's a chaos rune, but we're not going to talk about this because I'm 99.99% that this is not going to happen. This is not going to come out in global. So we're not going to even talk about it. So you've got attack, you've got defense, and you've got support. So when you open up rune sockets on a weapon on an item so let's take this for example okay you can choose what type of rune you want per slot and this is this is significant because the order in which you unlock your sockets will determine the buff that you get as you can see attack support defense on this expo gives me dex three attack speed three percent these buffs are different depending on the piece of gear you have all the weapons are the same so all weapons will be these buffs right here as you can see my my bow here i use three perception shield block chance but the previous if i used if i unlocked the same order as i had with my expo it would be the same buff right and then you have bracers which are different different set of buffs you have a necklace which are a different set of buffs you have rings different set of buffs the rings would be obviously the same to each other so you're gonna have to choose which buffs you want now this may seem like a lot but it's really not as you can see if we take, take a look at these rings there are one two three four five six types here these other ones are essentially the same buffs they're just at a lower grade and a lower value so as you can see this is max health 400 this is max health 400 plus one this is gray this is green grade and this is blue grade. So as you can see, blue from green gives you an extra 200 HP, gives you an extra one point of strength. How do you actually get like a green or a blue set effect? Well, that, dep that depends on the grade of your rune. As you can see this right here, I have a blue rune equipped. I have a green rune here and I have a, a gray rune here. If I were to replace this right here... With this, you're going to see it gives me the lowest grade. Now I'm at green. Okay, I don't want that. So I'm going to put this back in and that puts me here. If you're wondering what the purple is, again, we're not going to get purple for a while. Purple is essentially a grade higher than blue, just like everything else in the game. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're likely not going to get the purple runes. Okay, so and if I get all three purples, I'll obviously be down, down in this range. But again, I don't think this is going to be in our version. This is the basic system of runes. Now, the last thing that you have to understand with runes are these levels. Okay, you're going to see that this rune is level 60, represented by this 60 on the bottom right corner. Okay, the higher the level, the higher the effect on the stat. This rune gives me 30 ranged heavy attack chance. If this was a level 59 rune, I would get less than 30. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, maybe 28 or 29. It's a little bit less. Maybe, actually, maybe even 25. I don't remember the exact numbers. Um, but uh, you get less of the stat. Pretty self-explanatory, right? This does tie into the grade of the rune. These gray runes can only be, can only get to a maximum of level 20. A green rune can get to a maximum of level 40. And a blue rune can get to a maximum of level 60. FYI, 
the purple rune can get to a maximum of level 70 or excuse me 80 which is why this is level 61 this was just introduced into K in kr and people are are farming the runes again um which is a different topic because this you can really get burnt out with this rune system i really hope ags speeds up our version when it when it comes to leveling up runes because this can get very tiresome let's just say a lot of people get burnt out on this shit okay but that's a different discussion we've got gray level 20 we got green level 40 we've got blue level 60. the way you upgrade your runes is very simple when you first start the system and first run your challenge engines you will have a level zero you'll you, you're, you're gonna start at level zero and as you farm runes you're gonna get gray level ones essentially what happens is when you farm let's say this attack rune weapon hit chance eight when i get another one of these runes so essentially a dupe of this exact rune weapon attack hit i have a percent chance for this rune to be a higher level okay let's say i i have this rare support ring potion healing 17.4 percent level 58 as i farm runes when i get another dupe of this rune okay i will have a percentage chance to get a level 59 version of it and once you get that level 59 once i get that i will never get a lower level rune i essentially unlock it does that make sense so i i farm a rune it's a level one rune i farm runes and i get the same rune and i have now have a level two version when I farm that same rune again, you know, if I, if I get it again, I will have a percentage chance for that level two rune to now be a level three rune, okay? That's essentially how it works. There is a rune growth probability chart right here, which I'm not going to get into, but I will link this in the description below. But this essentially shows you the probability chance of you upgrading your runes. TLDR, without going too much into the numbers here, it's very fast in the beginning to upgrade your runes, but as you get closer to 60, it starts becoming a bit of a grind. The chances of it being upgraded is reduced. So it starts out at like a 100% chance, but then that kind of goes down. I don't know what the rates are going to be in KR. They've actually recently buffed the rates here in Korea to the point, correct me if I'm wrong in chat or in, chat or in, in the description below, but I believe you can jump multiple levels now uh, rather than just one. I can't remember exactly from the patch notes as I was kind of skimming through them, but that's pretty much it. It's a long grind to 60, by the way, guys. It is a very, very long grind. They've sped it up in Korea, especially while introducing the new level 80 runes. I genuinely hope they don't make it as grindy in NA because it is a freaking grind. Trust me. I know a lot of you guys wanted like unlimited content and the challenge dungeons are great, but I think there's a big difference between running challenge dungeons, these dungeons right here, there's a big difference between running these challenge dungeons at a lower tier over and over and over again and trying to clear them within within minutes just to just to farm runes, right? Because that's essentially what the end game turns into. It's not about how high you can go. It's more about going to the highest tier that gives you the highest level runes that you can clear very fast in a group. So people start min-maxing people start getting in like the highest efficient group possible to clear these really, really fast. And then just, they just farm them over and over and over again until you get level 60. And I am telling you guys, it's a grind. Now, how long does it take to get to level 60? I, there were some people even pre, cause they've actually touched up on this system a couple of times when it was at its worst. Okay. There were people that hit level 60. I want to say within definitely within the first month with their runes i want to say somewhere between two to four weeks i could be mistaken this was a while but i remember thinking holy shit there are people that are already level 60 or very close to 60 very fast but those guys were farming this non-stop this is why in the previous dev stream when they were talking about new raids new content coming out a lot of the koreans in the youtube chat were like oh please don't make us do more bang bangy bang bangy bang bangy is is the word that they used to call the uh the the challenge dungeons or the trial dungeons as we call them in the west uh and farming them over and over again that's what they call it they call them bang bangy and they're like oh not any not like no more bang bangy please right so that's pretty much the situation and let me give you a showcase as to how, how they're upgrading right here we go precious rune chest i'm gonna open these up for you guys i'm gonna use this here are the possible ones that i can get i'm gonna hit use I got these, okay. This necklace, level 48. This could have been, I, I don't know what my 
previous one was. But I'm assuming the previous one was maybe level 48 or 47. So there's an upgrade there. Uh, and this just goes up. Again, purple means that you can go above 60, but that won't be in our version. And we're going to get this rune bag slot here. And as you can see, I got a bunch of runes here that I can um, that I can dismantle. Some of you guys might ask what this is. This is an artifact. We're not going to get artifacts for a long time. Don't worry about that. So what do you do with your runes? Okay, so we're going to hit escape and we're going to go into substance transformation. Now, this is something that is incredibly important that I'm also going to tie into this video because this... I'm pretty damn sure is going to be introduced into the game this week as well. Okay. So how does this work? We're going to go to runes here. You have a meter right here. As you can see, it says one conversion tier one. You can take this all the way to tier six. All right. Now, how do you upgrade this tier? You just feed gear into this system just like this. Okay. So I'm going to feed my shitty runes into this. Okay, and then I'm going to convert points because I don't want to transform right now. I'm just going to convert here. And we're going to hit convert points. And this allows me to just feed in more. Feeding in more. Boom. Just like this, right? And the higher the, the level, the more points that you will get. So we're going to throw some of these bad boys in there, okay? Some of these that I do not need. As you can see, I'm at level 6 already, okay? Pretty quick once you start feeding higher tier runes. Now, from here, I have a ch I have a I have the option to either go random for less solent, or I have the option to choose an attack rune, defense rune, or support rune. So what does this mean? Well, when I hit transformation, I will what I will get is I will get rune fragments. Rune fragments are used to craft more rune boxes. They can be used to craft more rune boxes. Okay, but this is kind of like the pity uh item that you'll get i'll show you what what you use this for in, in a menu here shortly you get guaranteed rune fragments and you also get a you, you also get a guaranteed um item from from this conversion tier six so you want to go to tier six because the lower tiers you can get lower grade things you don't really want lower grade things right conversion i, I i'm going to be guaranteed a, a a a purple rune here with a chance to get with a 0.9 percent chance to get a, a chaos rune selection which again this is probably not going to be in our version so I'm going to go ahead and choose attack rune and send this. I got this item along with 68 rune fragment. I got a melee hit chance level 61. This is a fantastic piece for me to use for a hit build for greatsword, uh, for my greatsword build. And this is definitely an upgrade for me. So I will e probably be equipping this. And that's pretty much the system. You get a bunch of runes, you feed it into the substance transformation and you get shit back at the cost of Solent. Now, you can do this with artifacts, which we're not going to talk about because artifacts aren't in the game. And you can also do this with equipment, okay? Equipment is really big. I don't know how they're going to do this in global, but I'm just going to show you the system. Because when you get to conversion tier 5, you have different groups, right? And this is tier 2 gear. This is like the end game gear right now for KR. You can get a bunch of these items, right? You can also get bonus items, but the guaranteed item that you get from the gear would be trait resonant stone fragments and i don't know if they're going to introduce this to our version but i will go ahead and include this in our video today just so that you guys have information to everything in this video okay you're welcome <laughs> so you get traits resonant stone fragments which i will show you how that works here in a little bit but let me actually just show you how this works so i'm just going to continue to feed this shit in okay Again, you get more credit for purples than blues. Okay. Let's throw this one in here. I don't want to overstack here. Here we go. All right. We're maximum here. We're at maximum tier five, conversion tier five for equipment. Now I can choose to get, to, to get a guaranteed weapon, armor, or accessories. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select armor because I do need some cloaks. And this is going to give me a chance to get these rewards. Let's send this. Boom. I got a tier one divine just the car mask. That's garbage. Along with some mats. As you can see, we got trait resonance stone fragments. We've got 30 of these right here. Okay. So here's what we do with this. I'm going to just go ahead and summon my crafter here. This is also a feature that's not available on NA right now. And we are going to go to, I believe, accessories. There it is. Trait resonance stones. You need five to craft a stone along with other rubrics is other other ore okay well it doesn't have to be ore it could be any it could be any of these rubrics emirate and stalins is what you need 
Now, when you get enough of these, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just craft this because why not? Okay? When you get enough of these, when I go to equipment shanty and I go to traits, okay? When I select an item that is fully traded, there is a resonance effect here. This is essentially a bonus trait. When you unlock the traits, these are the stats that you can roll along with the percentage chance of rolling them. Okay, this is how this essentially works. So if I want to re-roll this trait, this is going to cost me two trait resonance stones for an RNG chance to roll any of these. Or you can select one manually for 40. It's 80 for weapons at tier two. So tier one will obviously be cheaper. Once that's all said and done, you will be able to add a trait resonance to every piece of gear that you have, including armor. This is going to be incredibly expensive and time consuming to min max the best trait resonance traits that, that you're looking for. Now let's talk about the rune fragments. Where are you? As you can see, there are three different, rune, there are three different rune chance chests right? You have rune fragments, you have precious polished, and you can craft these rune, cha rune chance chests. This essentially leads to just more runes for you to level up. I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's, it's that simple. <laughs> it's that simple. So that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any other questions or anything that I didn't cover. I don't think there is. I think that just about covers all the new systems that are coming in. And yeah, I hope that made sense. Let me know if you have questions in the comment section below or come find me on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next video.